We'll do the same as we did yesterday, where Keaton can take three answers at the end and make sure that your, or take three questions at the end to answer. Make sure that your question um, has something to do with his presentation that maybe you thought of while he was talking, okay? Did you know that peanuts grow underground and is in the same family as a pea and a bean? It is not a fish laying nut that grows in trees like walnut and oak. This is a picture of peanuts when they're pulled out of the ground. Hi, my name is David Allen Turner. I am Keaton's mother's father's mother's father, which makes me Keaton North Monroe's great great grandfather. I will be 157 years old tonight, today. This, this is a picture of me when I was a little kid. I am famous for discovering the first artesian water well and providing water to the desert in Southwest Texas and New Mexico before they came to the USA. I'm here today to tell you my story. I was born in Athens, Georgia in 1860. My mother and father had two girls and seven boys. This is my mother and father. Our family grew peanuts. I worked on my family farm and learned how to grow peanuts very well. The state of Georgia had proper weather for growing peanuts because of all the rain, because all of the rain and available water. Harvesting peanuts was a very hard job because we had to do it all by hand, but I enjoyed it very much. Today, they have machines that can do most of the work, which amazes me. These are the machines that can do most of the work today. These are the machines we had to pull the plants out of the ground throw them in this machine and it would separate the vine and the peanut. Back in the 1800s, they didn't have easy and affordable transportation to supply food and supplies to other parts of the United States. So if you wanted a peanut, you would have to make your way all the way to Georgia. In 1881, when I turned 21 years old, I met my future wife. This is my wife when she and I were about to get married. And this is her grandma and grandpa who raised her. She was an orphan. Her parents both died of tuberculosis when she was a baby. One day, she and I were walking. A gangster jumped her. I apparently really stuck him dead in his traps. So we got scared and fled out of the state. We landed in Eden, Enid, Oklahoma, where Cor and I had three girls and three girls and five boys. Mm -hmm. This is Athens, Georgia. This is Enid, Oklahoma. I first tried to grow peanuts there in Oklahoma for a living, but failed due to soil and climate conditions. So I worked for years on a dirty oil rig to provide for my family. But my passion was to find a way to grow peanuts again. There was talk among the workers that there was a lot of empty land grants way down in the southwest because no one could live there in the desert with no water to grow crops. I soon discovered that the land in that area, or Dallas, New Mexico, was suitable for growing peanuts only be enough water for irrigation. This made me think of the rumor I once heard that very deep in the earth was an aquifer of water, artesian water, that has accumulated for over a million years. And if I get and if I could just get to it, that would be awesome. This is layers of the artesian water that I'm going to have to go through. I'm going to have to go through soil, bloom, sand and gravel, bloom, clay and rocks and limestone. There's, there's the 
watches you well. Space watches you well. When I was around 45 years old, I moved my family to Brick House when I felt sure that the oil derrick we use for drilling deep oil wells could be used in a good attempt to find <coughs> artesian water. This is an oil derrick. It's basically a water drill that you find water for underground. So in 1922, I partnered with a neighbor and friend and started to drill coal. People thought I was a little nutty. But two months later, it worked. Water gushed from the artesian well in a large stream to a height more than 20 feet. This is the artesian well when it was just sprouting. It was like striking gold. We were all so excited. It appeared that there would be enough water to last for centuries. So we dug several wells for neighbors and friends. People started hearing about it and moving into the area, since now they had water to find and live on this land. Needless to say, I spent a gross of peanuts and was able to open up my own factory to provide water to a lot of settlers in the area. This is a gross of peanuts. <laughs> and we would put the peanuts in a truck would take them to the factory and they would make peanut butter and peanuts. Get this, if there weren't peanuts, there wouldn't be payday candy bars, Snickers, peanut M&Ms, peanut butter cups, peanut butter crackers, peanut butter brittles, peanut butter fudge, peanut butter, peanut butter allergies, <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter jelly sandwiches, you name it. Even Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the first peanut factory in Fort Dallas, New Mexico was called The Nut House? Yes, I am completely responsible for that title. Thank you very much. <laughs> I always say that the whole community endured and respected me. I'm very proud to have lived to see and cherish my neighbors, which grew to sitting in a community. Once my family and I were plenty from the water and peanut industry. We decided to move to Missouri, where it was lush and green from all the rain. This is Fort Dallas, New Mexico, and this is Missouri, Marionville, Missouri. Once I retired there with all my children and grandchildren and enjoyed all four beautiful seasons. This is me with one of my grandchildren. Missouri is where Keaton's mother is from. It's Keaton's mother, which is, she and her twin sister moved to Nashville for a job offer. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> that is where she met Keaton's father and settled with her family in Tennessee. Just great parents. I mean, they're just great parents. Oh, and they had the best son. Did you know that I lived to be 99 years old? I now rest high peacefully on a hill in Marionville, Missouri. I'm so glad that my descendants live on to tell my story. On a sad note, not conserving it all. And after 50 years of this, the water has slowed down so much that they now have to slowly pump it out. 10 years ago today, the government had to put a limit on how much everyone could use. That's called rationing the water. Many fields had to go unfarmed, which made the peanut industry suffer immensely. They will need to wait another million years for the aquifer to fill back up with water in order to thrive again. Make a note for yourself. Please conserve water.
We've never told, wait, did you already tell us about those m and things? Thank <laughs> you.